guys it's me here editing the video and i would just like to apologize um once again i am just like super still really new at youtube and i still like don't know what the frick i'm doing apparently because i can't seem to upload a 20 minute video even though i have a verified account but whatever i just wanted to apologize that that happened and here is the last five minutes of my book review for the amy Harmon for amy Harmon's new book the Song Book of Benny Lament. Here is those last five minutes of me ranting about the book and actually reviewing the book and talking about how incredible it is. So I'm sorry that I screwed up and that I have to make this a two-parter video, but I hope that you enjoy the second part and that you'll take the time to watch it. Thanks. Enjoy the video. <laughs> I'm really discouraged. I'm sorry, guys. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. <gasps> the Song Book of Benny Lament. <laughs> So I literally finished this book last night at like midnight. I literally did like at midnight, I finished it and I wept for about 30 minutes. Just freaking just sobbed, went back and read, read, read the last like chapter like at least like three times and then like wept some more. And now I reckon I cry four times a week. I don't cry four times a week, but I cry a lot. <laughs> Starts crying now. No, I don't cry that much. I cry like all the time. And then I decided to DM Amy Harmon on my Instagram and just tell her thank you for the book. It is an incredible book and I'm so happy that she wrote it and she talked about she spoke she talked about Benny and Esther's story. It truly is one for the ages and Amy Harmon was gracious enough to write me back and say a little thank you so I'll insert that little picture or screenshot of our DMs. But it truly meant the world to me that she responded and if she ever sees this video I hope that she does and knows how much I love her and how much I've adored her for so long. And now I'm just going to keep on talking about her books because I think they're amazing. But I just wanted to say she's one of the most thoughtful and kind people on the on planet Earth. I don't know if like, I, it was like 1230, almost one in the morning when I texted her, when I DM'd her that response. I didn't even expect to get a response because it was so late. And also like, she's a famous author. Why would she DM me back? But she DM'd me back and said the most gracious things. And she's truly the kindest person. Everyone should go check out her book. But I want to talk about it first. So the song book of Benny Lament. This is a story that takes place in 1960s with um, Benny Lament, who is part of a, he's, his family is essentially part of a mobster gang in New York. And then you have Esther Mine, who is an up and coming singer with her band of brothers called Minefield. And Esther is an incredible, incredible singer. And Benny is a songwriter. And so um, one day Benny goes to hear Esther sing in a club and he, his father, try, and Benny's father convinces him to write her a song. Just to like one song, basically, or a couple of songs to help her get on her feet. And as the story progresses, so does their love. And it's a lot of complications with the, um, the Italian mafia and a lot of compli complications because Benny is white and Esther is black. And this was a time in history um, in, our, in, in the United States where um, civil rights was going on and interracial marriages were very scandalous and they were a thing that were looked down upon. And so this book is so relevant for today. If anything, it's more relevant now than it ever was. And I think that it is an incredible story that they shared. Have I done enough? Will they tell my story? Benny and Esther's story is super unique. It's a very unique romance because it's it's like a it's like a spitfire, like enemies to lovers romance. And you know I love a good enemies to lovers. I love a good enemies to lovers. And that's how Benny and Esther were always fighting, always arguing, always at each other's throats. But at the end of the day, they both just had so much like love for one another and they only loved each other. And I just love that about them. One of the big lines that Esther says in the book is, if you want people to change, you got to show them what it looks like. And so when Benny and Esther perform on stage or when they're like together in public and like they're always together, it just, it made a statement. It made a public statement. And she like, and Amy was able to write that in a way that like, made it no made it present made it hard like there were hard things about the fact that they showed up on stage together that they flirted back and forth with each other and like there were different things that like were trying to stop them but they but that was the running theme throughout the book if you want people to change you got to show them what it looks like and this was the start this was their small little revolution without violence without malice just their little revolution into like breaking the boundaries showing people what change looks like and it was beautiful and another one of my most favorite things about the book, and I have to talk about it because it literally was one of the most impactful statements of the book. At one point in the book, Esther ta is talking to Benny and they're slow dancing in a club and they talk about, she tells him, she's like, you are the most ugly, beautiful man I've ever seen. <laughs> He's so ugly. I love him. And I kind of like that because he's like ugly, beautiful. And then she talks about it for a minute. She's like, well, you're just like, 
you're all rough edges and you got a bump on your nose, but yet like your eyes and your face and your soul are so beautiful. Like things like that. Like you're just like, like I feel like all people are kind of ugly beautiful. We're all kind of ugly beautiful. Like we have both good things and bad things, paint things that are ugly and things that are beautiful. Not in a bad way, but just in a honest way, an honest real way. And I'm sorry if this sounds weird, but I'm just being honest. And that was something I loved about their relationship that they talk about in the book. At one point, it's Christmas Day and they're talk they're um having this really emotional moment together and they're talking about how like Benny's promising all these things where he's like, I'll be good to you and be, I will be gentle and I will be like good and kind and like, it'll be perfect. And she's like, I don't want perfect. I want, she's talking about how um, she wants to be married to him. And she's like, I want, and in sickness and in health and in life and in death, she's like, I want the, she's like, I want the gross and the ugly. She's like, she's like, I want ugly, beautiful. She's like, I want our life to be ugly, beautiful. And he was finally understanding where it was like, he's like, it's not going to be all rainbows and sugar. It's life is ugly, beautiful. It's both gross and daunting and scary and fearing and, and, and anxious and anxiety like all those things and yet it is bliss and it is light and it is glorious and it is real like it is all those things life is ugly beautiful and i love that statement i would be using it for the rest of my life calling things ugly beautiful i'll be honest i think that this book is emotional poignant completely relevant to right now and so majestic everyone should read this book it is absolutely fabulous. And I will just wanted you guys to know, I'll be leaving the links down below um, to Amy Harmon's website and to all the places, the resources where you can go and buy any of these books. So yes, I absolutely love Amy Harmon. I think that she's an incredible author. She writes a variety of genres. She writes poignant, beautiful relationships. And she has a way that just pulls at your heartstrings and makes you like really think about your life and really think about the people that you love. And so for those reasons, she is one of my absolute most favorite authors in the entire world. And I hope that you will all give her a chance and go check her out. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. So thank you so much for joining me. I am so happy that you guys are here. Do not forget on Friday, I will be posting the link for the book drawing. For those of you who want to enter, I'll be leaving the link down below and I'll be letting you know how I'm going to do that. Um, but until then, just stay tuned for it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the Living Literature channel and share this video with your friends if you want them to learn more about me and the stuff I have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm always grateful for you. Please do not forget to leave down below any sort of video ideas that you might want me to do next or any books you might want me to review. Thank you so much for watching and I love you guys the most. Bye!